<laughs> okay, now it's time to uh, start the cosmic energy forecast. <clears throat> and we're going to start off with Shantastic Shine. So uh, whenever you're ready, you are on. Awesome. Let's see. One second. All right. So our moon is currently at a 6% waxing crescent. And it's been taking quite an energy ride this past week. Um, the whole cosmos pretty much have. We've had the new moon, which fell in the solstice this past weekend, which was pretty much powered by Capricorn, which brings in yet another shift in our major awareness, and given the whole collective a push, and an opportunity to stand true to our, our soul paths, and really to push forward with them rather than um, what the collective would normally want you to do. So normal jobs are starting to seem sort of boring to people because they, they really need to look more into their quote-unquote hobbies, which may be their real divine purpose. Um, so it's definitely a time to tune, in, tune into our heart spaces, focus on some self-love, and supercharge our personal strengths so that we can use them to our advantage. Um, some more cosmic turning points happening right now have been the sun and moon and Jupiter are all acting up on us. Jupiter's in retrograde until April, and it's pretty much the season to come together and unite our intentions and visualizing a more light for the planet. With the new year coming, it's definitely not a time to be afraid of anything. Especially as a collective, we need to truly strive for the peace within ourselves and just build our communities up as well. So you may feel the strong energies pulling towards or pulling at our consciousness levels, and it's really a good time to take time and meditate in candlelight since the, the moon's kind of hiding from us, and focus on what empowers you so that in these darker times we can bring the light for the new year. And not only empower ourselves but others. And to remember and it may sound cliche because you've seen it on all the Facebook posts, but we are spiritual beings having a human experience and that it's time to really recreate ourselves and just start the new year off right. Um, during the new moon, the Sun, the Moon, Mercury, Pluto, and Venus were all actually aligned with the sign of Capricorn, which is encouraging us to take charge with the here and now. We really just need to stop talking about what we want to do and do it. Um, I've seen several people talking about this today, too, which really just kind of concrete that point for me. So be leaders and show your honor and don't just speak about it. And remember to ground and center yourself before you take action so that you know you're truly speaking from your heart and not your ego. And one more thing was Saturn is moving from Scorpio to Sagittarius. And... The Scorpio is promoting us to embrace our shadows and to not feel shamed by what we truly feel inside. And even though you may have been abused or shamed for something before, it's time to really release that so that the negative feelings can be transmuted into more good karma. And just you'll have more energy to do other things when you're able to forgive yourself, which is prepping you for when Saturn goes into Sagittarius, where you're going to be more empowered to reach for the stars and redefine your belief systems to something that better serves your higher self. So pretty much that's all I have, and I'm excited for the new year and what all of the cosmic energy is going to throw us. Hmm. Beautiful. Get to do solar update. It's your turn. <laughs> and now over to Sealman with the solar flare update. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Sealman with Space Weather for November 23rd, 2014. Uh, over here I... We'll get to these charts later, but first I want to just uh, expand upon the planetary alignments. So, there's a bug next to me, sorry. <laughs> uh, so, Uranus is in Pisces. We got Jupiter in Virgo. Saturn, as uh, Shantasic said, is over in Sagittarius now. Uh, Mercury and Venus are in Cap Capricorn. Mars and Neptune are in Aquarius. And uh, if you didn't know, this year, this new year now, is the year of the sheep in Chinese astrology. So if you are a sheep, it is your year, and good luck to you, and many blessings upon your path. Um, so now we're going to go over here to check out some of the happenings in, in the chart for the solar flare activity. And as you can see here, this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, we do have an X-class solar flare. And as you can see here, the uh, red line going all the way to the top where it's uh, the X, 
Um, and then it kind of slowly, gradually goes back down to the uh, to the seed. Um, and it won't let me scroll down right now because it didn't load. But uh, this here it goes. Uh, the X class came from Active Region 2242, which if you watched the previous podcast, you will know that is the main active region that was uh, shooting out a lot of solar flares. Um, some people are calling it the Bear Claw Sunspot because uh, when it came back around to face Earth, it looked like a Bear Claw. And um, so that's what is going on on the chart. And I have a little bit of a motion going on here. As you can see, this is just a, a direct feed of the sun. Um, NASA sent out this wonderful webcam many, many moments ago. So I'm going to just speed this up so we can go a little bit faster. Get exciting! Let's get excited! Look at that giant solar flare in the bottom right corner of the sun. That is a big solar flare, and uh, we're definitely going to feel the effects of that, especially with Christmas coming up. There's a lot of energy focused on, uh, on just holiday season, spending time with your family, and uh, giving, and it's a very giving holiday. Um, very giving holiday, as I said. For me, it's a time to spend time with family and, and just show them how much you love them. Um, ooh, I saw that big one. That was a big one. Um, so <laughs> that is it for Silamon with the uh, solar flare update. And now we're going to go over to Ashton Robertson. Hello. Hey, guys. Hi. Time for some space weather with Ashton. Space weather. <laughs> um, okay, so trying to tune in, feel the space. Um, we're at a very critical point right now. Um, not only are we transitioning to a new season, into a new year, into a new phase of the moon, forward motion all around, um, the ascension path that's been happening for the last 20, 30 years is really moving into phase two of ascension. We've really been in this cleanse other people's fields, transmuting energy, really serving the other at all costs, and we're really kind of changing courses into the full initiation of self-love, into this really this expansion and taking flight of your own energy and kind of as you rise in energy everything that is no longer in alignment is naturally falling away and I have this this group that everyone that's listening to this I have this feeling that you've been putting your work in you've been putting out your intentions putting out your prayers manifesting and really it's we've gotten to this point where you have this momentum and all you kind of have to do is open your arms and receive heaven's help the spiritual realms want to give you all of your dreams but it's just a matter of you looking inward diving into your beliefs about self-worth and allowing the natural abundance that is your divine birthright to be pouring into your life and sometimes it comes down to us noticing little things in life I was driving on the highway earlier with my dad and birds flew in our face and I look over and there's like five <laughs> 500 birds in the sky and it's <laughs> beauty is all around us heaven is all around us all the time and by tuning into those small moments, we're tapping into higher energy and really getting to a state of gratitude which really allows abundance to flood into us. So we're really moving from this, I wouldn't say a space of lack, but I'm going to say a space of lack into a space of gratitude and abundance. And it's just kind of that simple shift of allowance because we've all put in so much work. And it's time to let our hearts sing. It's time to 
tap into, I feel like the word luxury is popping up over the last like two or three days, like allowing yourself to follow your highest, most potent dreams to the fullest potential to really soar. I, I, I don't know. I feel like we're at such a crossroad point in humanity and as light workers, star seeds, we've all gone through so much. We were all kind of black sheeps in our family. You know, and it's time it's time for us to shine. We're that next generation that's gonna awaken the planet and the spiritual realms are really like knocking on your door right now saying like hey you're about to like tap into a treasure chest and things are about to flow more easy for you because we've transmuted so much karma let go of so many old past relationships things are really just kind of like naturally falling away it's like your soul's going through this awesome workout and you're sweating and it's like oh I feel so much better and like serotonin's just coursing through your veins mm -hmm. But it's coming down to because you made the choices that you've made. Because of the person that you choose to be, life wants to show that you're doing amazing things and you deserve more than you can imagine. So I think it's right now the energy is kind of just saying, receive. You've been giving all of your energy to everyone your entire life and it's time for you literally it's time for us so as the moon goes forward take some time to meditate and I really recommend getting into some um, good music it allows the manifestations to quicken and that's really it Thank you, Ashton.